Hey guys, so today we will discuss about bended angle and bended moment. Now this is our mandible. This is the left side of the patient and right side of the patient. So when mandible, suppose mandible moves to left side. So this will be our working condyle and this is non-working condyle. So the working condyle will rotate on its axis when there will be the movement of mandible in the left side. And this movement will be because of this lateral pterygoid muscle. So when mandible moves to left side, our non-working condyle will move in this direction, right? And this path of non-working condyle will make an angle with this sagittal plane. So this will be our sagittal plane and this will be the movement or the pathway of our non-working condyle. This pathway of non-working condyle makes this angle with the sagittal plane in this horizontal plane. This angle is called as Bennett angle. So now let's talk about Bennett moment. So in the same scenario when mandible moves in left direction, this will be the path of mandible. The non-working condyle will just rotate on its axis, right? But if the temporomandibular capsule, this is the temporomandibular capsule and these are the temporomandibular ligaments, okay? So when this capsule, this capsular ligament are not tight enough, when they are loose or in normal condition also, may happen also that the working condyle may shift laterally when there is the looseness this movement is called as bennett shift or bennett movement so bennett shift occur in the same condyle it also occurs in both the condyles because this condyle will also move and the working condyle will also move in the same way but the bennett angle is formed only by non-working condyle. So Bennett angle is also called as lateral condyle guidance and it may vary from 2 to 44 degree. Generally it is 16 degree. So these are Bennett angle and Bennett movement. Thank you.